Psychic Pictures here, and welcome to Sonic Fan Character Analysis. This is where I go and show you guys a few characters from a certain YouTuber or a certain DeviantArt person that um, they want me to talk about, or if I just uh, go and randomly choose one. For this episode, we will be doing Carly aka Simara's characters. Because she's actually asked me to analyze her characters, and she actually gave me a list of characters to talk about. So, let's jump right into this. Let's start this list off with Watch. Now, Watch is half computer, half box. Well, half Mobian. I'm not exactly sure how that happened, how that works, but... It's Carly's decision, so I can't really say anything about it. I can't question it. So, uh, but she did give me a little bit of information about each of her characters. Each of the characters I'm reviewing. Um, she said that Watch was once a slave to Mephilus the Dark, but soon became part of Sonic's team and gets along well with Tails. For me, it would be pretty obvious that... Watch gets along with Tails, since um, Watch is half of an artificial intelligence, and Tails is a genius. It would make sense that they would um, be friends. Now, Watch's design is pretty good. I really like the gems that um, Carly put on him. The long hair, uh, I personally wouldn't have put it on, but it does work well with Watch's character. <clears throat> and overall, this design is a really good design. Next up is Zazma, Cosmo's twin brother. Um, with Zazma, he was abused by most of the Cedrian clan due to what Thorndrians have done. And he's also got a crush on Cream, the rabbit. Me personally, when I first saw this character, I thought it was a chick. I'm just saying. Um, and you, can you really blame me for thinking that Zazmo was a girl at first glance? Because with the Cedrians, it's very, it's actually very hard to go and actually make a male, um, a male Cedrian out of a, with starting with a female Cedrian's design. Yes, there have been male Cedrians in the in Sonic X, but uh, this design is based around the female version of a Cedrian. That, that's really the only thing that's wrong with it. If it was, if Zazma was a female, this would pre be a pretty good design. But since he's male, it actually doesn't work well just because of the gender fact. And I'm sorry, Carly, but that's my honest opinion on it. And you told me to give you my honest opinion. Next up are Spam and Hack. Now, these guys are twin brothers, I believe. I know they're brothers, but I'm not sure if they're twin brothers or not. I forgot. Um, and both of them are troublemakers that uh, Watch has to keep an eye on. Um, but they really do care about each other as family. Which... Um, that actually makes a little bit of sense since their designs are really, really similar. And um, I'm just saying this from the twin point of view. With a lot of the um, things that I, with a lot of movies that I've seen that had twins that are a little close, they all have similar clothing designs. Because if you actually look at the parent trap, even though the 
Um, Lindsay Lohan is both is both the twins in there. It actually, um, they actually have similar cloth clothing as well to say that they are twins. Which this is, which both of these guys' designs are really cool. And now that I take a better look at it, they actually look like Watch. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but they do look a lot like Watch. <laughs> That's just an observa observation, because they're both, because they're both black foxes and they both have green eyes. Which, that's the same with, with Watch. And also another similarity, they both have white hair, like Watch, except with blue or red streaks in their hair, in their fur. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but I, can't, I just now realized that in this recording. Um... But overall, Spam and Hack's designs are pretty good. And also, Zazma's design, I don't hate it, but it just would work better with um, Zazma being a female instead of a male. Next up is Arthur. Um, Arthur is a hedgehog that loves art and ran away from his abusive father a long time ago when he was a child. Um, reading that and looking at this design, it actually makes sense that he loves art, which I, I could kind of see that um, when I first saw this character, but I couldn't put my finger on it, but just looking at it now, knowing that, the beret, the rainbow color in, in his quills, and the... Uh, glasses actually scream artist. The clothing as well screams artist. She did a really good job at putting Arthur around the artistry form of himself. And this design is really good. The, um, the rainbow color in his qu quills is pretty unique um, from a lot of the other Sonic fan fan characters that I've seen because with the rainbow colors in their hair or quills or whatever I've only seen that on I believe four fan characters <clears throat> but this design overall is really good next up we have the main cat herself Carly now uh, Carly's a cat who loves making friends, but can sometimes be feisty. Which, that actually is a cat-like nature, I believe. I don't own a cat, but I believe that's how cats are. That they can be your friend, but can also be pretty feisty at times. Now, I have to be honest here. When I first saw this character... I didn't like her design at all, but now that now that I've seen Carly um, in different deviations, um, I actually have changed my mind. I do like this character, and I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I think the main reason that I didn't like uh, this character is because of the glasses. Yeah, I know, that's really low of me, but I changed from when I first saw this character, so I'm not, I'm not critiquing them on just one portion of their body, but this character overall has a great design, um, the clothing is, of course, cool, well, why did I even say that? Um, the design overall is cool. The clothing is pretty cool. Oh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry. 
Moving on to the next one. Next up on the list is Ruth, which she's a young Cedrian orphan, and she's an orphan because she she's not sure what happened, but she thought that she somehow murdered her own family. Holy cow. I first looked at this when I first looked at this character I would never have thought of thought that but oh my gosh she's she thinks she somehow murdered her own family that's pretty heavy even for a fan character well now now I take that back it's not it's head it's heavy for um, most of the Sonic fan characters out there. I actually have a character that has an even crazier backstory than Ruth, which is Dusk the Hedgehog. And I, but I'm not here to talk about my characters. I'm here to talk about Carly's characters. Um, <clears throat> with Ruth, her design overall is pretty good. Um, the color pink? Since I'm a guy, I tend to stay away from that color scheme, but there are times where I'm just like, okay, this character has to have pink, I'm sorry. And you guys can actually look on um, my Facebook page, and you'll actually see a character with green, ha uh, pink hair in there. But, <clears throat> back to Ruth. Because I got sidetracked already twice. Um, her design overall is a good design. And yes, I know most of these characters are recolors. I know that. But still, recolors are good. And Ruth is no exception to the characters that are good and are recolors. She's definitely no exception. Next up, we have Mime. Uh, he used to not speak, but thanks to an incident, he can talk with music, songs, and sound effects. Um, and also, Dream is his love interest, which I'll talk about a little later. I'll talk a little bit about Dream later. But Mime... Um, his design, since he is a colorless hedgehog, looks a little bit bland. Just like, hey, here's Sonic the Hedgehog in black and white. I'm, and I'm just using that as an example. But, uh, I can see what, why she went and, uh, put, made him a colorless hedgehog. Because if you actually look at mimes, they have white all over their faces. So it would make sense that if she made a character named Mime, that he would be completely white or colorless or whatever. Um, the thing about this character is, as I already said, it just seems a little bit bland. I don't hate it, but... It is really, really bland. If she added, like, little details or something into this character, it might make it, it might be, make him a little bit unique, but right now he just seems bland, which I think that's what she was going for since he's a colorless hedgehog, but either way. This... This design, yes, is good, but is bland. That's all I have to say. Next up, we have Zick the Hedgehog. Now, judging by uh, his design, it actually looks like it's a mixture between Tails, uh, Shadow, and... Lily the Cedrian. 
it actually looks like a combination between all three of them because you've got the uh, fur on the head from tails got this um, stripe on the fur for shadow you got the d design of Sonic the Hedgehog and the you've got gems on his hands and feet like Lily the Cedrian <laughs> I'm sorry I'm I know I'm over analyzing that but jeez <laughs> I just couldn't look I just thought of that though so there no hating on it but I think it's pretty funny that it looks like four different characters um, but Zick, he's supposed to be Prince, but he lost his memory of being one, and he enjoys his carefree life. Uh, now, with the, de with the design, I actually really like the shoes in this picture. The shoes are actually really good, and more original than most other Sonic characters' shoes. But his overall design is good. I like this design. It, I just can see um, four Sonic characters in this, in this one character. Because um, I immediately thought of Lily the Cedrian when I saw the gems on his arm, on his hands and feet, and the color of his skin. That's all I could think of was. Oh my gosh, that's Lily the Cedrian. I don't know if it was supposed to be like that, which I'm sure it wasn't supposed to be, but that's what it looks like to me. Next up, we have Ethan the Albino Fox. Now, this character, he loves the snow, and he's actually the new boyfriend to Lily the Cedrian, the one and only. Now, this character... Um, his design is good. I do like the design. The, um, color scheme of white and gray corresponds with the blue that she put into the design. Uh, that's all I really have to say, uh, without repeating myself over and over like I have already. <clears throat> um... What else can I say about the... Um, I know that... Uh, shoot. Carly actually said on her Deviant account that he did... That Ethan did have a crush on Lily. And it, it actually is cool to see that they are actually together. Because that's two... Um, Two Sonic fans corresponding together to create a uh, Sonic fan character couple. Which is actually pretty cool. Next up, we have Dream the Hedgehog. And I know in my uh, top 30 Sonic fan characters, I said Dream the Cat instead of Dream the Hedgehog. And I almost said it again. Uh, but... That, I, I can actually see myself doing that because I have a character called Dream the Cat, which is on screen now. Okay, now back to Dream the Hedgehog. Um, <clears throat> with Dream, this character I really, really like. The colors are amazing in this, char in this character. And... Uh, she is the girlfriend of Mime, but uh, Carly's still thinking up a backstory kind of thing to um, correspond with uh, Dream. But um, for me, it actually now that I get a better look at it, and I know I said this in the top 30 Sonic fan character countdown, but. It actually looks like she's a black hedgehog that dyed her quills red, yellow, blue, and orange. And this is just an idea, but 
maybe she didn't like that she was um, just completely black and decided to throw in a mix of colors and that's all I need to say I'm and I'm sorry if I really really botched the character Carly but it was just an idea I, and if you hate me for that idea go ahead but um, you don't have to take it it's just what I was thinking <clears throat> yeah, but you guys already know my opinion of this character since well dream got it on got on my top 30 Sonic fan characters countdown so I really don't need to say anything more do I and finally we have sharp the hedgehog and yes he made it on my top 30 Sonic fan characters countdown and I believe he was at number two now um Carly, a.k.a. Simara, actually gave me his backstory, and it actually is pretty interesting, which I didn't even expect this, but I should have, because uh, she told me that as a child, Mephilus ripped out his arm and cut his eye, so... Sharp ran away from his father to survive, and he actually created his own robotic arm and let his eye heal, but it had a permanent scar. But he had a permanent scar on him. Which, I knew, I'm glad that he actually had a robotic arm, because, so, I wasn't wrong on that. This character's overall design is staying tr kinda true to what Mephilus looks like and this character is just amazing with um, this I really just like really really like this character uh, because the cut on his eye and his robotic arm add to his coolness say pretty much saying don't mess with me or you'll die which I'm pretty sure that's not Sharp's personality, but still, it does scream that, because this design is just amazing, that's all I can really say. And if you want more information um, about what I think about the, the design, you can look at my Top 30 Characters Countdown and see for yourself. All right, and that was the first episode of my Sonic fan character analysis. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be um, making any more of these videos, which I probably will. Um, <clears throat> but if you guys want to see more of Carly, aka Simara's characters, I'll put a link in the in the description for her YouTube channel and her DeviantArt channel so you guys can go and see uh, different characters for example Sky, Eric, um, there's Sky, Eric, Maya, Breeze and a crap ton of other characters and you can see all of them at her DeviantArt account and her YouTube account so make sure you um, help support her with her drawings because they are really good drawings. At least much better than mine. They're much better than mine, but um, she does do an amazing job with her characters and the designs she gives them. <clears throat> 